What a beautiful Saturday. All right. Get this show on the road. Got some food and uh, the, let me turn, let me mute my watch. And some food in the Aether current, and uh, we need to talk to Ise. No, oh, I admit I forgot to grab Aether current, so while I was offline, should have worked on that. Are you feeling enough to fight in the demon and only imagine? I suppose I ought to apologize to you for now. Anyway, uh, thank you for not giving up on us. It should not be too. Much the better for my comrades' ministrations, and your most generous hospitality. You need not worry. Good. If there is anything else we can do for the two of you, anything at all... Stare any harder and you're like to burn a hole in them. Go and say your piece, for goodness sake. I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on. Gosetsu, Mistress Alize. I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. Scorning your wise counsel, I knowingly defied our master's wishes and left you no choice but to follow suit. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words and the intent therein. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. You must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. <laughs> that it does there are no words which will suffice but thank you don't worry I wanted revenge on him anyway so I want to punch him in the face and there they are hi Redfield Well, be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new primal slayer. I'm sorry we couldn't be there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. Doing all right. It's it's it's, it's being fun uh, replaying through stuff I've already done on my main. Thank you for the follow, Redfield. What? Your 
forgive me for changing the subject, but now would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signalled our intentions in so doing. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. Given that we lack the strength to oppose them, tis plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time, with whom I was privileged to share a room. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if Elise is attempting to throw shade here. I think she, she's really just trying to, to compliment slash embarrass her brother. If you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid. Even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire. It would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Fortunately, according to Tataru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. That being the case, a popular uprising spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. It would be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. Then we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return. For there is no surer way to inspire our people to rise up as one. He desired proof of his subjects' conviction, and they have provided it, through no lesser deed than openly opposing Xenos himself. It will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him. You know, honestly, I barely use discord except for for like a few things i have a bunch of discord channels but <laughs> i really only like use two of them one for for one D, &D game and the 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 uh, uh grizzly falls formerly known bear gamers one so i think i'm just gonna gonna stick to these two for right now but thank you for the invitation, Redfield. Yeah, it never hurts to ask. All right. Let's ask around here. Or let's talk to our companions, see what they have to say. Uh, turn down the game volume a little. We'll be traveling to the Azim Eskos. I found Lord Hien once, once before, and I'm confident I will do so again. Moreover, it was to me whom he put the question of Doman's resolve. I feel it my duty to deliver to him our people's reply. Our countrymen's deeds speak of them for themselves. Lord Hien cannot deny the truth of their hearts. Too long has it been since I looked on his face. It would be of great comfort to see him again, and no comf small comfort if you were to join us in the search, I should add. I wonder what kind of man Kian is. From what I've heard, he's about the same age as me. And then there's Fadola, who isn't a whole lot younger than us, both. Like her, she was born and raised in an imperial province. This is all he's, he's known. But unlike her, her, she chose to do something about it. I want to meet him. I want to know why. Maybe if I understand that, it'll help me to understand a lot of other things.
The beloved king returning to to urge his countrymen to rise up in rebellion. Not a story you've, you'd ever hear in Shali or Ulbda, is it? Not in those words, perhaps, but no man, no land's people is so cynical as to be wholly immune to inspiration. Similar individuals have the power to move hearts and minds no matter where they go. Mm -hmm. Doubtless you speak from personal experience. As much as Lord Hiens intrigues me, Eskos, there is a vital task to be attended to here. Preparations for the inevitable assault on Dome Castle, for one. This is also the matter of coordinating our efforts with the Confederacy and our comrades in Kugane. Dealing with this troublesome etherite, I, I could go on, but you understand. Aye, right, so it goes. We all have our responsibilities. We shall depart for the Azim step at once. You'll be joining us as a ghost. For our part, we shall do what we can to aid the Dominion Liberation Front in your absence. We will refrain from conducting any large scale operation in your absence, and instead decide to devote our engineers energies to bolstering our ranks and training new, our new recruits. When you return, we'll be ready for war. If anything happens, you will need, if you need us to come back sooner, you better contact us. Noble sacrifices are our last resort, remember? Follow me, my friends. We have many moms to travel before we reach reunion. Wait, don't, wait, don't leave yet. Here, take these for the road. It's simple fare, but it's the least we could do for, do for you after what you did for us. It may be stupid and naive of me to say this, but I will. When you come back, we'll, fin we'll finish what we started. We'll beat the Imperials and we'll win our freedom. But don't keep us waiting too long. Provided us with some sushi. Meanwhile, in the keep of Double Castle, this turns up. I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Prepare the airship. His radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. Look. Because of your petty hatreds, they render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope. To make an example of Doma, such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Do your duty now, or die with the rest of them. Are you all right, my lady? That was uncalled for. Oh!
They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want him dead. I want his friends dead. I want the heads of everyone he knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. You mean... You mean I can finally go after him? <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, he won't escape this time. Not this time, oh no. He's not very bright. Meanwhile, on the fringes of Garabana. Aye, this is the place. When his shade was banished, you swore to leave this life behind. And yet here you are. Estinian! Yet, if this be the work of the ice, what choice do you have but to end it? <laughs> or so the boy would say, damn you, Alphano. Now, now we're done with talking cinematics. That seems. Jiggity is ready to guide you to the Azim Step. Falls is ready. Let us depart for reunion in the Azim Step. Our route will be somewhat uh, circuitous. circuitous. can never pronounce that word. We will need to re return to the Ruby Sea and head north along the coast past the Sari. Need to go. Where am I going? This is for another quest.
From here we will turn north until we arrive at a cave, through which we must pass in order to reach the Azim Steppe. These and Gosetsu have already gone in, on ahead. We should carry on as well. Oops. Thing, that's her thing. That is a jumping puzzle. Here's Lise as our uh, path marker. Here's Gosetsu as our path marker. I don't know why he's just standing around. But we have some talking as we're entering a brand new zone. So, of course, Lise is going to... Do some narration. Emptiness, vast and endless. The Azim Steppe, home to countless roaming tribes. A sacred land. All right. Watched hey, Lady Redfield. All this will be on our YouTube, my Here, YouTube, the Cubs Out Loud YouTube channel. So. Salvation. With the wind at our backs, we walked on. In search of hope. In search of him. In search of him. Lord Hien. By the way, I got a new barding on my ch chocobo. A little more armored. When he's fighting... Fighting with me, uh, he's got better protection. It doesn't really do anything, it's just for looks, but hey. I give you the Azim step, as a ghost, though I would say that this is but one small portion of it. Despite the close proximity, domains rarely venture this far north. Most find these lands and their people strange and foreign. Fortunately, those who frequent reunion are more welcoming than most. Come. It is not much further. Yangsha, I think, is supposed to be... Uh, kind of a mixture... I, I want to say it's a mixture of like Chinese and Japanese, or actually... Hingen, uh, where Kugane is, I think is, is primarily the one that's... Uh, Japan, and then Yangsha is China, with the Azim Steppe being kind of along the lines of Mongolia. So the Aura here are much like Mongols. You'll see. Mongolian. Welcome to Reunion, my friend. Here's where you... We will begin our search for Lord Yen. See if by any chance that gives me uh, some sort of upgrade on my thing. Does. I get an upgrade for my belt. Oh, back to bunk. 
because we're doing this as a monk. Yigiri has a simple plan for finding Luotian. When last I spoke with Lord Hien, he said he spent much time in these markets. I was hoping we might find him here today, but alas. Hey, Yukiri, meaning to ask, is there an awful lot of Zayla here, aren't there? Ah, oh, I assumed you knew. The Azim Steppe has been home to the nomadic tribes of the Zayla since antiquity. More than 50 ro 50. More than 50 roam these lands, though they do not c constitute a nation, there is an hierarchy of sorts, determined through ritual combat. Funny. If, it was t if they're t so busy fighting each other, you'd think the Empire would be able to march in and take the step with ease. I wonder why they haven't. Why indeed, Lix. Why indeed. Perhaps they would see little value in it, especially since the fierce reputation of the Zela warriors who would hold tooth and nail to oppose them. These lands are not made for men. The soil is thin and the weather unforgiving. The Zayla find, found ways to survive, it is true, but they are made of sterner stuff than most Imperials, conscript or citizen. Thanks for taking the time to explain. It sounds like I've got a lot to learn. Listen, later, I mean. I'm meant to be looking for Hien. People from many tribes gather in reunion to trade goods and information. I should be surprised if we cannot learn something of value here. Let us make our inquiries separately, Yasagos. Why don't you speak with some of the merchants here? Who's? Fresh booze, your choice of lamb or zo. So, guaranteed to satisfy. If I, how many will you have, sir? Ah, a domen? Unless another Daskar is keeping him in, in her yurt, he is not here. <clears throat> More fool her if she took a domen for her husband. But enough about domens, let us speak of booze instead. Instead, we cannot come to the Azim step and not sample the most traditional delicacies. Actually, at sushi, let me let me eat it just so I got a nice little little buff. Crit, vitality, direct hit. What fortune would you come? To? Oh, what fortune would you come? Let's see. I better look. What fortune would you come come hither at this time? Freshly slaughtered, every cut available on your crust. Organs too, hearts, livers, brains, or a brace of blood sausages, if you desire only a snack. A domen? Poor, poor meat they make, domens. I jest, I jest. Hmm. I did see a young mole in the company of one some few days ago. Roasted fish with pumpkin, an exotic foreign delicacy cooked to perfection, beloved without the step. Come, come. You seek Dermans, then you have come to the wrong place, my friend. Friend, delicious as my foodstuffs are, they find little flavor with, the, with those from the south. Now, if you were Goro, you would be... If you were Goro, you, would, you were looking for, on the other hand, then I would be able to help you. They flock to my stall. Uh, make sure my equipment is in good repair. Since I'm here. Okay, cool. I brought you a new bush, my beloved. 
brush, my beloved. So smooth and silky your mane shall be. The envy of every other man. Hmm? Say again. Who are you seeking? Oh, the Domen. I know of whom you speak. He comes and goes with the mole girl. Though I could not describe her, I only know that she is a mole because I heard that them talking as they passed. Uh, okay, so I need to find a mole. Um, hey. Oh, it's from work. I'm Ura, if you must know. Come down from the mountains in the north. There's nothing else. Okay, I thought that would mark her off, but... You take me for a mole? I am Oronir. Pair me not with one so weak and lonely. Yes, I am a mole. I am mole. I am Serena. May I help you? We found our girl. Yeah, I'm looking for Lord Hien, a domen. Oh, oh, I see. You're looking for Hien. In that case, how urgent this business must be to leave our conversation unfinished. The Kinsai. Sai, will you buy it? There's but one bundle left. If not, then... I will, I will, though I have not thought to pay a so high a price. It is a bargain for which you would be grateful. If you lack the coin, then the fault is your own, and you would leave with nothing. Please, I must have the inside. The gods themselves requested it. We are bound to their will. Pay me the difference in, the whisp in whisper route, and I'll sell it to the next apothecary to pass the reunion, and we will each feel fairly treated. But do not tarry. Should another come before you, coin in hand, I will not refuse him. I understand. Thank you for this kindness. I am sorry, but we must speak of Hien later. I cannot leave the union without the Kinsai. Might have uh, just gotten an up upgraded weapon. Yep. Oh, that's neat. Serena does not not usually depend on the kindness of strangers, but will gladly give and make an exception today. You you want to help me, is that it? You can count on me. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Eskos. Thank you. The lumbering ones who we must fell wander the plains to the west of Reunion. If you, if we each harvest two, then we should have enough whisper root. Return here, here when you are finished. Good luck. Well, I find a hole. Hey, it means I get to punch up and I'm gonna feel but make that'll make me feel better. And just cuz. But uh, when the speed joined me in the fight.
Sure, I got enough. Back to reunion. Oh, silly me. There's an ace right here and should probably uh, tune to it. Let me check on my bandit here. Okay. Welcome back, Asagos. Have you brought the Whisper Root? Yep, here you go. Blessed is he who no shows kindness to strangers, for with fortune does he ever ride. Will this quantity suffice? It shall. The kin say is yours. The gods favor you more than you know, child. Child, Ogun, Ogun, rarely have need for such words, but so, th but so my stock is limited. And so my stock is limited. Had you come a day earlier or later, I would have had none for you. Perhaps the gods guided, guided me here, here as they guided grandmother, as they guided this man from the west. Probably turn up the volume. Yeah. Well met, Sirena. If you have an inkling as to the current whereabouts of Lord Hien, we should be most grateful for your assistance. Oh, please! It is I who should be grateful. Hold! What is this? I came first, you second! Know you to whom you speak? All people of the steppe should. Or have you fought so much that you have forgotten the face of your superiors? Superiors? I spit on your superiority, little prince. Twisted and mad as sand devils, your kind are. Those two don't seem to like each other very much. Those boys are of the Oronir and Dothal, the two strongest tribes. The children of Azim are destined to rule, so they declare to all who will listen. Their word is law. For now, grand, flamboyant fighters, but deadly, very deadly. He prances as a horse, as do his brothers after their many recent victories. The Undying Ones, too, are strong, fearless, and vicious. They often reigned in the past. Now, they are sorely tested. Ah, the Master of the Markets. He is Castile. To fight in reunion is forbidden, and to break the peace is to be banished forever. This he says without words, for words are lies to the Castilla. They do not speak. That's... interesting. And all these different tribes share the same lands, do they? No wonder it's tense. I shall look for you on the field at the Nardum. Mark my words! <laughs> As shall I! Mayhap I shall take eleven more Dothar heads to make a dozen with yours. I, I look forward to the day! The dispute will be settled at the Nardum? 
A great battle held on the final day of the Sahan San. During this time, all bonds of hierarchy are broken. All Zela are equal and free to prepare for the fight. The tribe which triumphs in the Nardom rules until the next Sahan San. Which in these lands is now. Ah, so that is what they call the custom. I presume your tribe will also be taking part? Not all seek the Dawn Throne. Some are satisfied with their lot. Others, like the Kestir, have reason to remain neutral. The Mol are lambs among wolves. Long were we content to remain apart and live quietly, but... Never mind that. You see Kien, yes? I know where he may be. Hmm. Yarius. See what we got here. Shouting, striking. And we're now 68 doing a 64 quest. Four levels, <laughs> one level. As for this gear, oh, it went into my inventory because, what was it? It was boots? Uh, I have too many boots. Double check. Yes. Okay. Ah. This is awful. Hold on. Be right back. Just make it a quick trip to Kagane. I'll be right back. So I have a mo quest. Priorities. All right. Just because we're all like settled here and everything. Actually, let me let me pick up the the. Where the where were we talking? Here, okay, let's back to Serena quickly. Long ago, my grandmother, mother, having received the vision of the gods, bade me go forth into the southern mountains. It was there that I found Hien, near death from many wounds. I brought him to our village, and there we nursed him back to health. Afterwards, he chose to remain, that he, he might repay us for our kindness. Domans set much store by honor and shame, so at first they did not question it. that back down. Excuse me, if, you, if I could see your map for a moment here. He was grown fond of this place. It affords him a view of the markets and the steps. I would accompany him, but I must return to a village to prepare, prepare my grandmother's meal. Thank you again for your assistance. A long-awaited reunion is at hand. Come, my friend, let us go and greet our lord and master. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to go to the other side of the world. 
and do my monk quest. So, with playing Final Fantasy XIV, big tip. If you've got a job quest, do it. Because usually, because a lot of the times you'll have skills and such that are locked behind it, or there's a story reason, or what have you. But uh, just, just get it done. Mm, what are you up to still moping? It is you again, brother. My new pupils, they have lost faith in me. So I have lost them. And perhaps it was just as well. For I'm unfit to teach. I'm the Mad King's kin. I would be an affront. Forgive me, I should not burden you. But to you, I feel I can speak my heart. Reveal things I would not to others. Not even my closest disciplines, disciples. Speaking of whom. The Zinsa and... Ochaka, their bodies may be healed, but their pride will yet be raw. It must be heartened. Will be heartened for your visit. Ah, as it goes, how good for you to come and see us. Both Zensa and I are, are well now. Uh, never you fear. It's Master Wittigelt that worries us. He will not soon recover from the emotional blow. Given all that's happened, we can hardly blame him. <sighs> we were supposed to support Master, but in the end, we were just dead weight. Lessons have been suspended to, since the incident. Not that it matters, though. The villagers have ceased attending. It's a big setback for our mission. But the biggest setback of, of all is Master's melancholy. Professor Eric would know what to do, I'd wager. Let's go and consult him, but uh, I don't want to leave Master by himself. Nor do I. Eskos, might you trouble to find the uh, professor and bring him back? I believe he took his investigation of the man named Theobald to the Resistance at Rago's Reach. Off to the reach. Here's Eric. Probably could have done this faster by uh, using the Aetherite network. Ethernet. Oh, that's a good You come in a good time. I've been finished inquiring about our friend, his aspiring majesty Theobald, and you are doubtless eager to hear my findings. Ahem. By all accounts, it was but recently that the man surfaced. None have, I can quite say whence he came, but no sooner did he appear than he declared himself Theodric's heir, and proceeded to recruit people to his cause. But the prevailing sentiment around the fellow is one of, the, uh, one of uncertainty. It should come to, as no surprise, but folks are not exactly keen on the Griffin's return. Unless you forget, few have fond memories of the King of Ruin's reign, nor do they have any reason to love his heir. That is all. That is all. Now then, what brings you here? Uh, it's Wittergelt. He's being an idiot. Still sulking over his cyclists, you say? Utterly hopeless. Very well, I should go and slap some sense into the fool. Come, Essigus. Wittergelt? Wittergelt, a thrashing though it was, how long did you let a single combat keep you down? As I hear, you've been neglecting your training. I haven't so much lifted a finger. 
You would let all that muscle go to fat? Defeat is painful. This is true. I am no stranger to its sting. In time, the sensation fades, but this... It was no mere sensation. It was my very existence. The man who destroyed the fist, fist of Ralgar, his blood courses through my veins, that I would seek to revive the order that is a front to the dead. I am not right. So that is the way of it. I will tell you a story. I once had a son. In many ways he took after me, and twas my hope that he would one day follow my footsteps. But the boy had grander visions. For wanting to change the world, he took off and joined the resistance. And then he died. His unit was hopefully surrounded by Imperial forces. In order to save his comrades, he swept up a sack of explosives and... But the details are irrelevant. For long years, I had lived with regret. If only my son had walked the path of science, I lamented. I might still be here. But eventually I came to a realization. It was his choice to make. And make it he did. He chose to be a soldier. I'd hero. In acknowledging this, I was able to obtain a semblance of peace. We are defined not by our blood, Wittigelt, but by our choices. Your uncle is the Mad King. What of it? You are not him. You are you. By whatever name, there is no limit to what path you may walk. That path may be fraught with hardship, but you mustn't give up. Behold the soldiers of the Resistance. Even now they fight tirelessly against the might of the Empire, ever ready to render up their lives and their cause. These men and women bear a great burden, one beneath which they could buckle at any moment, yet they stand firm in the to the very least. I used to wonder, why do they not give up? I saw son taught me the answer. They believe that the moment you give up on something is the moment you lose it. When first we met, you, you were hell's bent on retribution. More headed though you were, you came to see the folly of your path. But there comes a time when a man must fight. For you, that time is now. So find your inner mule, Wittergelt, and fight. Fight for that which you believe in. You are right, Professor. I see now what is truly important. Theobald desires absolute rule. If he has his way, the people will suffer. This cannot be borne. It flies in the face of the new fist. I would restore hope to the people, but to do this I must transcend him. I will become stronger. I will protect that which I hold dear. Well, glad am I to hear it. Suffice it to say, I shall aid in whatever way I can. Something else has been bothering me, Professor, about Theobald. His polearm techniques are distinct. I have seen them before, but when and where? It was a long time ago when the Temple of the Fists still stood. <gasps> no. It couldn't be. Audrey? Who is this Audrey? A brother in the Temple of the Fist, and the closest thing I had to family. I had thought him dead, slain when the temple was raised. But now you believe that he may still be alive? This is the one who seeks to prevent your reviving the Fist of Ralgar? Essegos, the guy who's willing to punch people, uh, cries for vengeance, uh, very violent. Lalafell would say, let's confront him and uncover the truth. I looked upon Andre as a true brother. I do not wish for us to fight, but neither can I yield to my purpose. I seek to restore hope to the people, and Audrey seeks to deprive them of it. If we must stand opposed, then I stand ready to strike him down. But remember, Audrey is not alone. He has rallied the Corpse Brigade to his cause, and against the them, the Fist of Ralgar is ineffectual. What do you intend to overcome his disadvantage? If our fighting style will not serve, we must master another, one that is free and unshackled by form. Eskos, I would ask a favor of you. 
all you learned as a pugilist, you would we would learn also. Will you teach us? <laughs> Reckon you can keep up? Give us your worst, brother. We will take it all in our stride. If you are ready, I will begin at once. Let us train Ed Gear Gear Cahim at the monk as the monks of old once did. I shall summon the girls, permit us there. Well, it would seem the storm has blown over. With that, I shall return to Old Dala and tend to a task of mine own. I trust you will see to the rest here. All right, here are those. This is over here. So, I'm going to teleport here, teleport out here, and then run down there. A little bit of XP. Okay. Um, hold on. Maybe going about this wrong. Here we are. Theobald leads, leads the Corp Brigade. Soldiers trained to suppress the Fist of Raugr. Against them, our style is ineffective. If we are to triumph, we must broaden our horizons, and Eskos will help us. All right, let's do it! I shall give it on my all. You well know how, how we fight, our strength and weakness. Tell us what... We must approve from the eyes of a pugilist. Speed. I see. Above all, the pugilist is swift. For each blow he receives, he delivers a dozen. And Dezenta Otaka, our combinations must be seamless. Ten thousand boot shines. Ten thousand boot shines. <laughs> and here I am like, wait. Are you guys tired or something? <laughs> so, so this is how you trade. Uh, it is eye-opening. But it's not enough. We must learn more. We mu cannot defeat the enemy. Please ask us. Teach us more. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Endurance. I mean, if you're going to do all this. I see. Beside the future list, we must... We want for endurance. No number of blows must stop us. Is it so, Otaka? Our endurance must be anything. Fist of Earth, 10,000 times! This is pure trading. It's my wonder you are strong. But we are not finished yet. Again, Essekos! Let's go down the list. 
You just need to do it. Do each one. Yes. You want strength? I see. Being the pugilist, you must. You want for power. Every blow must be telling. The sensor, Otaka. Our strikes must be harder than stone. Arms of the destroyer for ten hours. Uh, 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 this is how you trained. It is eye opening. Right, forgive me for my interruption. Um, my name is Her Hederwald, and I've come on Professor Eric's behest. Professor, has something happened? Nothing untoward, I assure you. The more momentous discovery per uh, pertaining to the man named Theobald. Truly, you must go to him at once. Ah, beg your pardon, but the professor made me bring Master Essigos alone. He believes you and the ladies would focus on your training first and foremost. I suppose you are right. Very well. Go on, brother. You have taught us all we need to know. All that remains is practice. Is make it second nature. Okay, I'll walk into this trap. Do you think Eric would actually send somebody else and not come himself? I mean, seriously. My thanks to your understanding. Then without further ado, please follow me. Where is he? He's, he's near the cast room. Oh, my food fell off. Let me uh, eat some harp. Another one, just make sure it stays there. Okay. I remember this one. Kind of sucks. I thought now the professor waits beyond. Fire. Well, there is perfect. <laughs> this is what Asikos is thinking. <sighs> really? Go for it. And by... Ah, but to be fair, I spoke no lies. The professor did call for you. Help me, as a ghost, he said. <laughs> like, come on, guys. Really? I, I, I have to admit that this is actually a, kind of a hard one.
Move this mage out of the way. See if I can get some regeneration in. Where's my thing? Okay. For some reason they can... All right. Ah! Fucking ads. Yes! The first time I did this, I failed. <laughs> I just went into easy mode. This time I succeeded. I am so proud of myself. I am so happy. Surrender now, or he's a dead man. You can't even finish a fight you started. Craven's the whole lot of you. Call me what you will, but no one stands between the king and his throne. You were slow, you were slow to return, so we followed. It was right what we said. Thank you, Valka, we were not too late. You, how the hells did you get past the sentries? Toppled right over, the, over them. How else? We trampled right over there. Damn it! Your elk is supposed to be easy pickings! The day's yours, but it isn't over. Mark my words. Why, well, thanks, Esco. I was on my way back from Old Ah when they set upon me, and none too gently met the bru bloody brutes. I'm sorry, Professor. It's my fault. You are in danger because of me. Haven't you learned anything, you dolt? I am part of this cause of my own volition. For better, for better or worse, I alone bear responsibility for my actions. At any rate, I have done what I needed to do, and you may resume training safe in that knowledge. Begging your pardons, but may I suggest we leave this place? The enemy may be, still be lurking nearby. Why is this thing said all day? Come, let us return to Alagana. I think I was able to successfully do that mainly because uh, I was thinking more and trying to like just dishing out the DPS, also thinking about survival. <laughs> 
Also, because I've done Monk so much up to 80 on my main, that I kind of need the class a little bit better. I thank you again, Eskis, for your, for your teachings. Owing to them, we could save the professor. You say saying some miniatures, but for blessing, they are minor. Minor, the village here tends to him. When he is recovered, I mean to challenge Theobald. For that day, I will train hard, and I will put an end to his tyrannical ambitions. Witness me, brother. There we are. Back. The museum step. I need to go up and around. I got this view. Windswept plains, which can't really grow much. Remain loyal to Doma. I have seen the fire in their eyes. They are ready to rise up and fight. The time is ripe, my lord. Return with us, blade in hand, and lead Doma to freedom. Not less than liberty will suffice, my lord. A pity, but it is far more difficult to deliver than my head. But if my people wish to pursue an impossible dream, then who am I to deny it? You get it. Go, sister. And, uh... The scions of the Seventh Dawn, my lord. Good and true friends who opened their hearts and homes to us when we fled to Aeolgia. Far across the sea they have journeyed to stand with us in the fight for Doman liberation. To oppose the Empire, as they have in the West, where they are lauded as heroes for their many deeds. Say no more, Yogiri. Say no more. I observed how you helped the women. The women are indeed splendid. For that, and for the aid you provided my people, you have my deepest gratitude. Uh, I love Lord Hien's voice. It's so good. And, and just, I love Lord Hien, just in general. I think he's, the design of Lord Hien is perfect. There's no doubting your strength nor your character. It would be my honor to fight by your side. So, what of Doma? Arise, my friends, and tell me of our home.
I have made my decision. You, Giddy, I bid you return to Yanshia and take charge of our forces in preparation for my homecoming. As for our esteemed guests, I would ask that you remain here with me. I sense you will be a great help in the coming days. Your will is my command, my lord, but how much longer do you intend to stay? Oh, only until I have won the contest? I mean to return at the head of a Zayla army. What? <laughs> you mean to participate in the Nardum? Have you a better idea? Consider how soundly we were defeated before. The Imperials may have since grown weaker, but we are weaker still. It would be folly to challenge them without first supplementing our forces, so yes, I intend to win the Nardum and enlist the aid of every able-bodied Zayla I can. Furthermore, by championing the Mole in the contest, I can at last repay their kindness. Lest you forget they saved me from certain death, and a man who suffers such debts to go unpaid is without honor and unfit to lead. <laughs> just so, just so. Our Lord has spoken, you giddy. But take heart. I shall keep him safe, and should it come to it, bring him back by force. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Gosetsu. But if these are my orders, very well. Once more I place my faith in you. Pray look after them both. <laughs> it's, it's like... You're, you're very... Looks like it's up to us then. Though it does seem a bit risky. Isn't Hien meant to be the next King of Doma or something? So they say. Though in truth I am but a pale reflection of my late father. All the more reason to entreat your assistance. I here to punch people, right? For ours is an impossible dream. To set in motion a revolution that will rattle the very firmament and shake off the yoke of the most powerful empire in the world. Essigos Windsmile, was it? Once again, allow me to thank you for your many deeds in service of Doma. For 25 years did my father rule in name only. My rule, if you would deign to call it that, has been not in comparison. That changes now. We are a purpose and a plan, and after we take to the battlefield together, we will have victory as well. And you are, but you are a practical man, I can tell. Disciplined in trust, to trust in words when actions speak truer, I can relate. Uh, that went to my inventory because they're boots, and I have way too many shoes. I need to, like, sell some of these. I think I'm actually keeping them for reasons. Uh... I'm just going to make room in a couple of these. So I might get more gear as we go along. So you too have, have heard of the Naram, the great battle for supremacy of the steppe. I learned of it during my stay with the Mole. To my knowledge, no foreigners have ever participated, much less triumph in the Nardom. But lack of precedent notwithstanding, I would think we would have a good standing to bid them march with us to Doma. Should we win? Will they even permit us to fight, my lord? We belong to no tribe of the steppe. We are not without options, given what Serena has told me. You see, in accordance with the gods' wishes, her people shall participate in the coming autumn. 
And when they take to the field, I mean for us to fight alongside them as as fellow warriors of the Mole. And we not, not discuss this at length here. Come, let us head north to Mole Elo, where Serena and her people have made camp for the season. It's way up there. Some interesting marbles. They're purples. My friends, I give you Mol Ilo, Ilo, the Khatan of the tribe Temelin, Temulan, resides in the largest yurt. We should go and make our introductions. There's Memis on the step. Yes, that's a uh, flying panda. Just ignore it. There's a falcon porter here. Um, nothing. That's what I want. At last, the traveler comes. Turn the volume up for voice acting. Ah, you found each other. Ours is the soil, Hian. The Domans, and the Eorzeans, too. You know us. The gods know you, child. As do the stars in the heavens, which shone bright at your coming. The Mole hearken to the whispers of the Elder Gods, which guide us in our daily lives. We know them through the Utun, like my grandmother. Hatun, I am come to beg a boon of you and yours. That I might liberate my homeland, I seek to rally the strength of the steppe. To that end, I wish to fight in the Nardom as a warrior of the Maw. Will you grant me this honor? To stand with the Maw is fruitless. He and do not do this. The gods may have willed that our tribe join in the Nardom, but... There is no path to victory. We are weak and our numbers few. Even with your help, it would be impossible. I thank you for your concern, Sirena. But it is precisely because of the seeming hopelessness of your cause that we must needs cast our lot with you. Were we to join hands with a more favored tribe, our victory would inevitably be attributed to them. And no one would follow me to Doma.
Twas the gods' will that we fight. Mayhap this too is their design. Hear me then. As Hartun of the Mull, I invite you all to join with us in the Nardom. Will you look after them? Come with me, friends. There is much I would show you. You... wait. I would have words. A singular radiance, shimmering. Like a jewel of the Dusk Mother, blinding in its brilliance. Stars flicker and flock to you. Before such gathered light, even the secrets of the gods may be laid bare. Some are fated to rise in grace and glory, others to falter and fade, though not from memory. Both will be your strength and salvation come the end. Uh -huh. Cherish the stars and the light they bring you in the dark, for you are a traveler, are you not? Well, I travel to beat faces of, like, evil people and, yeah, that sort of thing. I mean, I'm nothing like Elagos. I mean, he's probably a little more talented than I am, but, you know, I could still beat his face when it comes to, like, you know, monk shit and stuff, but... He's Rogadin, kind of like a, a Gosetsu, except he's all gray and such. He's kind of badass. I like him. Thank you all for coming and for offering to fight with us in the Nodum. Falling down because we're not doing VO anymore. Though I still fear our chance is grim, I'm grateful for your assistance. Be recognized as warriors of the Malt, there is a trial you must overcome. But before we speak of such things, there is another more pressing matter. Uh, bard, machinist, uh, black mage, summoner. Um, I'm not leveling any of those classes, so we can complete that. Or jobs, jobs, jobs. There's a difference between the classes and jobs. Classes are from 1 to 30, and that's it. Once you hit 30, everything is a job. I'll take the materia. This has a red mage art, so I'll get an upgrade weapon. Sir, and I would impress upon you the gravity of the path you walk. My friends, I must warn you, the path upon which you embark is fraught with peril. You must journey into the far reaches of the steppes to confront a terrible foe, at, as did the warrior of Bardom in, in days of yours. Three days he battled with the demon ere he returned to his people, so it is written, so must be done. Many who follow in his footsteps perish, lacking in strength of body and mind. Therefore, we must treat you with a great feast. Have have I said something strange? The hungry fox stars staring at the bull's testicles. <laughs> Therefore, warriors must be well fed on the eve of battle. <laughs> she does have a point. We must be. We have been keeping busy in my. Uh, you have been keeping busy in my absence. A brief repast may be in order. Thus, we collapse of fatigue and malnourishment in the midst of our trial. Yes, just so. However, 
It will take some time to prepare. Is there anything we could do to help? It might also give us a chance to learn more about your people and their ways. Well, if you assist, I'm sure the others would be glad for your assistance. Hmm. Would you go speak with Dorbay, Lise? Dorbay, Lise? As for you three, you can help me with another task. For today's feast, the gods decreed that we lure Gulu Gulu to slaughter within trails. Perhaps you could be the ones to do this. And your people look to the gods for guidance, I understand, but in your daily meals? I say, your grandmother must be quite busy. <laughs> Some days more than others, but every night we come together around the cook fire. Even babes must learn their keep on the step. Give over the entrails, Serena. We will bring you a bounty of meat. To a samurai and a monk. A word of advice, our quarry is, is wont to avoid the Zela and their settlements, but is fond of flowing waters. Hmm, a thought occurred to me. How, how about we make a game of it, Eskos? I have six bags of entrails from which we can lure our Gulu Gulu. <laughs> three for me, three for you, and three for me. Whoever returns with the greater portion shall be declared the winner. What say you? Yeah! Then it is settled. Kosetsu will stand as witness. Let the game begin.
Ah, have you used all your bait? In that case, let us see the fruits of your labor. Oh, it would seem that at the very least you are the faster hunter. But speed is not everything. For my part, I slew six Gulugulu. Aye, that you have, my lord. As for Esagos, this day you are twice the hunter as he, for your friend delivered unto me but three portions. Half your sum, my lord. Ho ho, and there we have it. I shall not try not to let it go to my head. I know better than expect the hawk to, to show his talons, but on a whim. Nay, when the time comes, I expect you will prove yourself more than my match. And with that, our game is concluded. Let us return to Mole Il Illo uh, forthwith, and let us have Essigos present our meat to Sir Serena. I hope you are unfamiliar with the traditional Zela cuisine. It does not, let not its de appearance deceive you. It is quite hearty and nourishing. Were it not so, I doubt they would have nursed me back to health. <laughs> you, you should have seen the state I was in. Your return, Essigos. How was your hunt? My word, this is impressive. Or were you so hungry that you felt the need to kill so many? Well, I shall endeavor not to disappoint you all with my cooking. It'll be a little while before the meat is, is ready. If you and Lise wish to fill the time, perhaps you could assist Dorbe. He has many responsibilities. We welcome your help, nor would you regret in making his acquaintance, for he is liked and respected by all. You may find him on the other, by the other yurt, taking stock of our supplies. Ah, when the newcomers, welcome. I spoke with Lise. I bade her help the children gather fuel for the cook fire, so trust it will be a good experience for all. And for you too, perhaps, seek them in the south across the bridge. Ah, let's go. So are you here to help too? Great. So I suppose Durabai told you that the children and I are gathering fuel for the fires, did he? You'll need to be dried before we can burn it, of course. You um you do understand what we're here for, right? Only some people can be a bit squeamish about this sort of stuff. Then again, you never mind getting your hands dirty, have you? Anyway, we're trying to get four piles each. It Good luck, and keep an eye on the children while you're at it, eh? We gathered dung. Yes. We're here to pick up poop as fuel for the fire. 
You know, there's always a poop quest each expansion in WoW. Maybe this is one of the inspirations that Final Fantasy uh, uh, took from playing WoW is from the, the developers playing WoW is like, oh, hey, poop quests. That's a great idea. Do you see what the, the children say? Traveler, I will not lose Traveler, I will not lose you. I'll find three of three times as much dung as you, at least. This is one of those like it may be a boring and disgusting uh, uh, task. Uh, I might make it fun, make it a little game of it. Oh, you are Lisa's friend. Are you here to help us, too? I cannot seem to find any dung here. Maybe somewhere else. Well, have you found your show yet? I got four pounds of dung right here for you. Good work. I hope you took the time to talk to the children while you went at it. Please, please, look how much dung we have. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought we'd gathered a lot, but it looks like we have, but we'll have to admit defeat. Darby will be happy we found enough. Not just Dorbe. Now you can continue. Continue. Now you can continue making cheese. Not that I was worried; it was easier when we were living near the forest. But dung works just as well as wood. All right, the mole will move from place to place. That the gods tell you where to go. I must be hard on you all. Hard? I don't understand. Why is it hard? Is it better for the animals to move to have more food to eat and land to roam? To stay in one place is harder, no? From the heavens comes the rain, which nourishes the soil. From the soil comes the grass, which nourishes the beast. From the beast comes the flesh, which nourishes the zela. Ours is, is the soil, one and all. But you Westerners are like the Domans. You live in one place in villages. All the villages in one place and part of a nation. Yes? Gan talks about nations sometimes. When he was injured, he spoke of Doma in his sleep. And I did not understand his words. Whenever I ask him about Doma, he just smiles and looks to the south. It reminds me of my mother when she waits for my father to return from a long journey. But he will not wait any longer, will he? Because he, you came for him to take him back. Because his nation is more important. Hmm. I'm not sure how to answer this. A nation is a place, I suppose. A place and the people in it. And maybe the things, too. But more than that, it's the history, the traditions, the words, the stories we tell others and our children, everything that came before and everything that comes after. The place we were born is part of who we are. We carry it with us, no matter where we go. Whoever, whatever we become, that part remains, that link to our fam fathers and their fathers before them. It's not important to everyone, I suppose, and that's fine, but it's important to Yen and to me. Some call them all fools for listening to the Elder Gods, but it is our way, our pride, our nation? Something like that. It is something, it's something precious that you and others share, and no one can never take from you. But... We can talk more about that later. It's time to go home. Doorbell is waiting. I'll stay with the children. Why not go and let Serena know how we got on?
Welcome back, Hesco's. Did you speak with Dorby? Dorby? Whatever you pronounce it. Well, well. Then you will forgive me if I ask you to wash your hands. I shall pour, pour you a cup of milk tea in the meantime. The meal is almost ready, so, you, so we should summon Hien and Gosetsu. Did the rest to come so far and carry so much? Hien and his friend, too. Strange that they should vanish so soon. <laughs> boys will be boys. Not troubled by our own wounds, I see. <laughs> Nor you by yours. I know I should have fled with the others after father died, instead of blindly fighting on. It was reckless and foolish, and there was naught to be gained from it. Everything to lose, rather. We know no path save the one we walk. I myself am in no hurry to meet those who have gone before. Not while I have still to make amends. Well said. You are none the worse for your time in the wilderness. On the contrary, I would say you have improved. Come now, your victories still far exceed mine. Or have you forgotten all the times you trounced me as a boy? I feared I would not see you again. A life so fortuitously saved should be spent wisely. Without regret would I have traded it for our people's amnesty had it been their will. Instead they have called for the sword, and so that is what I must be. Until this blade is broken, I can but carve a path forward. Were you truly so concerned for my well-being? You never showed it when we used to spar. How you cried when you lost, and when your mother tried to comfort you, and when you inevitably came at me once more, swinging your wooden sword wildly. Mina's little Master Shun. What a fine young man you've become. A man should not be addressed by his childhood name. I've told you about that before. Ah, the mask slips. And I was so close to cultivating a winning persona. There will be opportunity enough for putting on airs after you have returned in triumph to Doma. Now is the time to show our true character.
Yes, yes. Tis a name my parents gave me as a child, but I should like to think I have long since outgrown it. But as you seem determined to bring it back into use, I believe a match is in order. If I win, you will be honor-bound to divulge one of your darkest secrets. Wait a minute, your darkest secrets was that your childhood name was Shun? Ah, my friends, I am for one um, full of vim and vigor, and I trust you feel the same. Then, what better time than to undertake our trial and become full-fledged warriors of the mole? Samurai, Marauder, Gladiator, A. Now let me give you those. I have a weapons upgrade. Let's see there. 143. Oh, I kind of like that thing, but the skill speed. West. Now that we're done with the feast. Now then, Serna, if you would tell us of the trial we must undertake that we may po might participate in the autumn. Ah, yes. As I mentioned before, to be recognized as warriors of the steppes, one must follow in the footsteps of the legendary warrior Bottom. He embarked great pilgrimage, skewing cart and horse, and working walked for many moms until he came to a holy place. He is therefore named Bottom's Metal. There at the altar, as he did, you must pray. The altar lies deep within the breeding grounds of the Yole. To complete your trial, you must tame one. Only then will your trial be complete. Fair enough. And where is the entrance to Bottom's Metal? Where is the entrance to the dungeon? You must journey far, far to the west, beyond Chikazo. Shakazo, where lie the bones of a great and wise woman. Beyond the ruins of Siolean, and hidden within the mountains in a northern pass, follow it and you will come to Bottom's Meadow. Sounds to me like it's trial, just, just getting, it's a trial, just getting to the trial. More than you may know. On the eve of the Nadam, many strive to improve their fortunes, some must, uh, some by abducting and enslaving the warriors of other tribes. Be, be ever mindful of your surroundings, lest you be taken as well. Ha! What grim expressions you have while nodding so powerfully. Warriors such as you are not like to fall in a route to, to a mere rite of passage. We shall proceed with all due caution, yes, but let us not worry over much. We will overcome this trial and the next and the next until we stand triumphant. That is where, that is all there is to it, no? With me, my friends, to the west, to Bottom's Meadow. All right, before I do that, I'm going to refresh my beverage. Wait, Hien! Oh dear, I knew I would forget. Here, take these whistles. Once tamed, your yule will hearken to their call. Thanks. We'll try them out once we've finished the trial. Let's catch up to Hien and Gesetsu.
All right. That I'm gonna do a little quick. Be right back while I refresh my beverage. Do right back.
All right. Made myself a sandwich too. I was getting a little uh, hungry. Heckish, that's the word I was looking for. Still have a long way to go, but I think I see the uh, monument Serena talked about. Let's see Hien and Gosetsu, though. We should hurry. Hey, I don't know about you, but I can't shake the feeling that somebody's watching us. I'm certain I did warn us about tribes that kidnap warriors and make them fight for them. Something tells me they're about we're about to meet them. Basically, keep an eye out. Oh, hi there. You're a healer, aren't you? My chocobo back here. You ran into some too? Okay. Uh, there you are. As you can see, they left us little choice. I gather you were forced to dispatch a few yourself? Who was it? A few less warriors to face in the autumn, eh? Call on is not much further. That said, I would, should be surprised if our would be masters do not try to subdue us one final time. Now, if only the the gods had told the mole to like come over into this area and and make camp, might not have as much of a problem since you're gonna be right nearby. You're not going to stop, are you? I have to beat up a wall.
and pop food back on. Right, this must be the path that leads to Bottom's Metal. They say no foreigners have overcome this trial, but well, there's a first time for everything, no? Weapon. First, I'm going to glamour it to be. This fire looks good. Gain is ready to undertake the challenge of Bartram's Metal. Nothing left but to begin, then. To complete the trial, we must each pass through Bartram's Metal and tame a Yole. Now, precisely how we are to do this, I'm not sure, but since countless warriors before have succeeded, I imagine we muddled through somehow. But enough talk. We have an autumn to win. It's fun to see them. No, shoot. My tank is too low a level, but I'm going to use my use another class because I want to try to keep these as close to I want to keep these as close to um, my monk as possible, just because in the next expansion we have roll quests, so we hit, so we have a, a mage, a physical DPS, a healer and a tank one so i want to ha have one class and it and the classes that is determined is monk uh gunbreaker for tank uh astrologian or as i like to call it astrologian um for healer and then i've got red mage here Or uh, magic DPS mage. And the thing is, it's not ranged DPS; it's magic DPS. So the roll, the roll quest, like physical DPS, a dancer, uh, dancer uh, machinist, or a bard could do, but they couldn't do the magic. So it's not like range versus melee; it's magic versus physical. I like how if you how even though when you have the sheath the um basically the casting focus is on one side and you got the sword on the other side. Um but when you cast you kind of like put them together. Comes together and you use the sword and it becomes kind of like a staff. But the the focus is kind of like connected to the top of the sword. And you can kind of see it, see it get set up that way when I'm doing my victory pose. 
and whip it around, and the orb is on the end of it, and then when I go into my battle stance, and she stands, I basically take it off the end and have it hover over my left hand. Which explains why it's considered one weapon and not like the sword and third for one hand and the offhand is the, the uh, casting focus. Oh, hold on. I'm going to draw. I have my reasons. <laughs> I just realized my duties wasn't set up correctly. Bardem's Metal Only. <laughs> I was hoping I would be able to do this on, uh, on Gunbreaker so I could catch Gunbreaker up to... Oh, I'm also missing a uh, dungeon. There's the 63 dungeon. But it's considered optional. It's not part of the main story quest, so I actually have to pick up a quest to do it. So I'll have to make sure to go fill in the blanks. I know because every single one of my other classes on uh, uh, Elegos are currently in that range. They're hitting 65. And due to things I was doing earlier today, I hit 65 on my red mage. Just not my gunbreaker. Gunbreaker's close, though. I suppose this is a 65 quest, so. Maybe I should have been doing the, the quest on, it, on gunbreaker. Honestly, being that it's saying an average wait time of six minutes. I don't think it's going to take that long to do. Actually, here. Maybe we can see about starting the unlock quest for that other dungeon while we're at it. Do I? I don't have the quest, do I? Let me see. But actually, I think this is it. Hmm. And you are? Chirp, chirp. Lady Caroline, what brings you here? What? My lady, you of all people just realized how incredibly dangerous it is. For it, it was for you to entrust another of our secrets? Much less a newcomer whose intentions we know not of. Hmm. What other choice did I have? 
When the seal breaks, we will be forced to drown the palace and all souls within. Would you soon have me sacrifice my sister and my people than turning to outside help? And do you think that this man has some hidden power capable of delivering Suino Sato from untold disaster? I realize it's not in our, your nature to ask for assistance, but like it or not, there is little else we can do. No outcome would be worse than losing the Ruby Princess. Even we must re realize we might only stand to gain by requesting this man's aid. Hmm. You have the right of it. Very well. I will give your friend until the next high tide to rescue the princess. If he fails, however, I will destroy the dome and atone for the deed with my life. Right, remember, my lady, should it come to this, you shall be the one to inherit the throne. Here, take this scroll. It will permit you to pass into... To Shisui of the Violet Tides. I presume you're aware of where it's located. Not to worry. I shall show him there. The palace lies just beyond the turquoise trench. Before we leave, however, there is one last thing I must share with you. I am, was not entirely truthful to everything I have told you. Huh? It is nothing that affects your current predicament, but it is nonetheless a lie I, I mean to set straight once this is all over. Forgive me if it was something I could something I could tell you now I would. Uh just cuz going this way. Uh pop on my C bount. This exploration will probably also double check my aether currents. Oh, we've got root current. Yeah, aether currents. One of those being this one. I think about the Ruby C. I could basically get everything right away. <laughs> everything else, not so much. Mm, here it is. There's Kernang. Deep in the depths of the water. These are the gates to the palace. Inside are the Ruby Princess and her guards. Thank you, Esagos, though he might not show it. Shiosai is, is secretly very grateful to you, too. The thought of having to kill the Ruby Princess, however, indirectly have been tormenting him. Now there is not much time left. Let us make our way in. We have to... You have the scroll of entry, correct? Remember, you'll be able to pass through the gates without it. There we go. With that, I got to unlock. Let's see. What other unlocks did I have for here? I'll have to do that. Oh, wrong screen. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for.
Pulling double booty. Nothing well, Kugani. Nope, I didn't need to come in here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so Winsmore, what a pleasure it is to see you again. What might it be a service for you today? You would like to know if this uh, know if this flag or any of the items listed here come from one of our ships? I'm afraid I cannot help you there. Kika, however, might be able to tell you she is in charge of the inventory and currently st uh, stocking our ships at Pier One. And who might you be? Ah, Master Winsmore, I've heard a great deal about you. Very well, I shall take a look at your flag and list. None of these items are terribly remotely familiar. If it is you suspected, you have been lied to. It is a shame you were the one to ask. I ask, had it been anyone else, I would have been an easy thing to claim the ship, and it's good for as our own. Many of the items listed here are worth their weight in gold, and then some. With this, these, those men could have easily paid the tithe several times over. Such luxurious items uh, can be rather hard to come by, so do let me know if your friends are looking to sell anything for this. You'd be more than happy to find a buyer for them. As far as it goes, you've returned. Very good. Now, if you'd be so kind to give the flag and this back to me. Hmm. It's as we suspected. Then, in light of Miss Mistress Kimi Kikimo's proposal, however, not even this uh, evident guilt can scour my mood. Indeed, this is fantastic news. It's something we'd hope for more. Oh, well, certainly promising. We are not yet out of the woods. Master Asagos, I trust you will rely on your continued support. I have a feeling will be needed. No need earrings. There you go. What the A's are current. Okay, so I've got like one other Aether current quest. But I need two. I'm not seeing it. I have to look it up. Okay, so I'm going to actually uh, unqueue because it's taking longer than I expected. Uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to actually probably see if I can uh, get my Gunbreaker to 65 so I can pop faster into Bardem's Metal and use the XP to um, help boost him as, as close to um, 
monk. Possible. Obviously, I'm actually doing the main story quests as the monk, but doing the dungeons and everything else that I'm primarily going to be doing, not, I might pop on these other ones. Uh, but we're going to cut this just so we got this nice break of video, two and a half hour video. I'll be back probably, it's probably going to be a little bit longer break, uh, but uh, I will be back uh, to this. So stay tuned, uh, follow uh, the Twitch channel, or you know, the videos will be up on youtube.com slash comes out loud as soon as I remember to transfer. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching. Again, be back in about a half an hour to an hour, somewhere around there.